What is Ubik? Um, it's a couple different things. Well, one, we're a company. Uh, two, we're a uh, blockchain. And three, we are a cryptocurrency as well. Uh, with uh, about a thousand users right now. And uh, yeah, it's been really organic and great. We've got a lot of cool people joining the, uh, the Slack recently. But um, yeah, we've got a lot of cool projects coming from our reputable professionals that work on uh, Ubik. Um, we have exchanges and explorers, uh, token backed debit cards. Prototypes for carbon credits and infrastructure tracking, um, tradable mortgages and bonds, and uh, most recently we got a lot of interest from uh, hedge funds and uh, wanting to tokenize venture capital. So what am I demoing today? Well, six months ago we had a tip bot and, uh, and a blockchain, and it worked pretty good, but that was really the only use case we could build effectively. So we recently upgraded and launched a new network, a new blockchain on January 28th. Slide. So, if you guys want to use the chain, what essentially is it? Well, you need a big random number. That's all a user is on the blockchain, like a massively random number. Uh, so we can generate this from, you know, rolling dice or shuffling a deck of cards. And a lot of you guys are probably trying to work on gambling uh, AIs. Realize you can't really figure out what a shuffled deck of cards looks like. Um, it's an absurd amount of numbers. Um, but we don't want you to lose your shuffled deck of cards as a user. So we, we have a device that's basically a key fob. Uh, it's got RFID, NFC, and it also has a fingerprint reader. So it will take 13 data points off your finger and randomize with other data, and that's all stored locally in this device that's basically only used for uh, signing transactions. Um, and uh, transactions, it's like a signed check or a signed contract. As soon as it's uh, recognized by one node on the network, all the other nodes pick it up and it's broadcasted worldwide and Fail safe redundancy. Um, so, uh, yeah, and we're playing right now the basic use case for that device is just doing secure access. So, when you log into your banking computer, we, we take a log on that on our public chain and uh, it's pretty well backed. Uh, so, how do we combine machine learning and blockchain? So, as we learned before, uh, GPUs are a big part of infrastructure. And uh, you could, in theory, build an AI within the blockchain, but it's far too expensive, it's slow, it's highly redundant. Um, you're basically waiting on blocks to come through for the actual like processing to happen. Uh, but um, uh, so, what is the, the actual work that's going on on a, on a blockchain? Like, why do we need these same GPUs? So we're doing like this really difficult math problem. It's essentially like an artificially hard math problem. And uh, we use that to solve a block. And uh, it's kind of explains some more, I guess, famous terms. It's a uh, thing of a Sudoku puzzle, you know, that you do in your newspaper every morning. And uh, after you solve it, you call the newspaper and say, like, I got the answer for you. Like, they can check it immediately, but it's pretty hard to kind of do the math, uh, the Sudoku puzzle. If they start getting calls too early in the day, they realize you know, people are doing this before their commute is over, uh, then they're going to make the, the next uh, block slightly more difficult. So that's where like, we've done a custom difficulty adjustment algorithm to kind of uh, make sure blocks come at the same rate and uh, they propagate properly in the network. Um, so you guys have all this hardware and we're, we're kind of interested to use it. Um, at the same time, there's a lot of hardware out there. Right now our network probably has almost a thousand GPUs money in. And we're not paying them, the, the network's paying for it because what we have here is like standardized work for this hardware to do. So like a uh, fungible value, and uh, it might be a little more important than finding the cutest kitten on the internet. Uh, but uh, it, you can definitely uh, now draw a broad scale of uh, like if you want to do infrastructure management, management like uh, load balancing and whatnot. Um, so what's to stop you guys from running your own chain? Why would you want to use Uh yeah. There's nothing really stopping you, it's just it requires a lot of resources. Why would you use a thousand of your own CPUs if you uh, could use ours and uh, not have to pay anything for it? So you could actually make money off of your infrastructure rather than um, yeah, rather than trying to consume more of it. So yeah, like like I say, we have a standard uh, for your work for minimum profit. Uh, so how do we do this? Well, we have a lot of tokens already on the network. Uh, so first off, there's a EBQ, and that's the, the currency. Um, and 
and uh, then we have other things that are basically created using smart contracts. Uh, so an example here is we created the loop, and the loop is uh, has a, that big random number hidden within a puzzle. Um, and our users have been working on it for the last month, so if you guys want to try and find the loot, you can get yourself a mining rig. It's free infrastructure for you, you know, pay back. Um, and uh, yeah, so tokens are very important. You can kind of do like paper trading with your AI, and then uh, using a smart contract, you can decide if you want that paper trade to go to your actual trading fund. Um, because smart contracts will allow for a lot of interactions, multi-key, multi-party, so you can use the same human fingerprint or your AI fingerprint. Uh, we can do reputation-based decisions because we have the record of everything. Um, we have time-driven events like locking, sending, and expiring. And um, yeah, we can even store complex or non-standardized data. Oh, um, so that was my last slide. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, so we, we basically have a, a rule set that you know, we can bound every AI, every user to, and uh, no one can really cheat because we're essentially using really big numbers that you guys can't solve and I can't solve. Um, so if you want to learn more or you want to try that puzzle out, you know, check us out on Twitter, uh, look at our website, uh, read our uh, blog posts on uh, what we're kind of doing for upgrades because we're looking at doing um, old roadmaps soon, of all the projects planned, uh, we're going to sign to the paper, and, uh, what else? Uh, oh, I didn't do tip bot. A much better one. All right, that's it.